Hey Meeple people, how's it going? On today's video, we are going to be talking about a game we played this past weekend, and that game was... Dun, 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 Race to the Raft. This is a game that is in the Isle of Cats line. It is for one to four player, and takes about 40 to 60 minutes to play. This is a game that we've had for a little bit, maybe a week or two now, and it came in from Kickstarter, and we're like, yes, more Isle of Cats, cannot go wrong, save all the cats. This is, the, this is my purpose. And so we got really excited about this one, and we went ahead, Sarah learned the rules, she explained it, flawless as always, and had some little questions, but she answered them flawlessly, and... Then we got into it. We got into the tutorial first. So it's like, you know, here is the pregame to understanding the game. And so we got the mechanics down. We got the movements, playing the cards. You're trying to take all the cats that appear on the board. And it's like the, the island is burning at this point. So you have all these fire tokens that you are putting onto the board as you place uh, cards onto the board to move the cats in a, you know, a way to the raft. And you're trying to get all the cats to the raft. If you do that, you win. If any of the cats don't make it, then you immediately lose. And this is a cooperative game, a uh, puzzly type game. So yeah, it was interesting. It was definitely got the feel of a puzzly game, but also it didn't really feel like we were playing a board game. It felt more like we were just, well, what I mean by that is it didn't feel like we were playing a game. It felt like we were just doing an activity, which I feel like some puzzly games just fall into to where, yeah, it's puzzly, but it's a little too puzzly to where we feel like this is getting to more of just being an activity than actually playing a hobby game. And that's how at least I felt about this one. And which was a little disappointing. I really like the universe of Isle of Cats and I was really excited about this one and when we got it we played it a couple times I mean we might play it more but it just that that it was just and this is gonna sound harsh it wasn't it just wasn't fun I wasn't having a good time while I was playing this game and that's just my relation to the puzzly aspect if you were somebody that likes cooperative games and especially puzzly ones and you guys don't have problems with alpha playing alpha alpha players uh this is one that i would recommend and they also had some squishy rules about limited communication and some things to take care of alpha playing which were these couple of tokens that one you could talk in cat form and be like meow meow don't do this like just you just be saying meow and then the other one was okay you spend this token and then you can talk and be like okay wait you shouldn't really do that because of this and it's just i don't know if you can play with people that aren't going to alpha play then just talk that's we 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 were getting a little frustrated with the the tokens and the the restrictions we're like you know what we're just going to talk and it got a little bit more fun because we're like okay do that do this okay you got it and we always respected each other by saying hey you have the final say if you want to go ahead and do this then you go do this and we're just going to roll with it so the interesting rules of the trying to interject uh limited communication and also trying to deal with alpha playing in a cooperative game was I don't know. It just rubbed me the wrong way. And I was like, ah, I just don't know if I really want to <laughs> keep playing this. And now I've got a lot of games and I've got uh, games that are also puzzly, but they do a, a puzzly way where I enjoy it. And I just didn't feel in this one. So, uh, but that's just me. If you're more analytical and you want to make sure all those fluffy cats get there, believe me, I wanted to get the cats off the island, onto the raft, and save them. Uh, it's just, um, in this game, it was just like, ah. Like, I think I'd just rather play the the base Isle of Cats, because even the roll and write that came before this, uh, uh, the race to raft, was like, uh It was just more like, I think I'd just rather play Isle of Cats. And um, I love this universe, because look at I have, we, me and my wife, we went all in on the Isle of Cats board game. We got just the huge box, uh, the nice custom inserts, 
and even custom tokens in there. So yeah, we've spent some money on this uh, universe because we've enjoyed and still enjoy Isle of Cats. And so we just haven't really enjoyed the standalone games that have come afterwards. Expansions? Oh, we're good. We love the new cards, new objectives and all that. But just the race to raft is eh for our opinion. So I'll leave a link in the description of this video to its BGG page so you can go look at it more and uh, just get your own feel and opinion if you go to a convention or you know somebody that has this because Kickstarter backers are starting to get their stuff now. Uh, play with them. Ask if you can borrow it and or trade it from somebody. Heck, we might be trading it soon. But uh, but yeah, so it's it's just something that we were really interested in, but we got to play it and which is good because now we don't have that's one less game that's on our shelf that we haven't played. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to it, get to more of it before we get rid of it or if we'll keep it. I don't know. That's still a little up in the air. It's a little it's up in the air, but I think we're leaning more towards passing it on, trading it off and all that good stuff. So, yeah, uh, that was again race to the raft. Again, if you're liking, if you like puzzly games and cooperative games, this is the game that I would recommend you check out. If not, then I would recommend you play a different game if you don't like cooperative and puzzly type things. Uh, and, hey, a puzzly recommendation is Micro Macro Crime City. I love, again, this is probably more as a one player game. They say I think it's like two or more players. Now I'd play Micro Macro again just by myself. I wouldn't do that with a multiple group because that's just me. I wouldn't have fun with uh, multiple people on that. But yeah, so without further ado, I hope you're playing games, whether they're solitary, cooperative, strategy, 4X, um, Super Euro or Ameritrash, what have you. Again, I hope you're enjoying it. And also, this is the week. This is Gen Con prep week. So at the time of this recording, we're getting ready because a week from... It's not Wednesday yet, but in a week, we'll be heading to Gen Con, which is going to be madness. We're going to be doing a lot of tournaments, running around, enjoying Gen Con, and uh, working it too. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. But yeah, if you're going to Gen Con and you see us, say hello. We would love to say hi. Uh, if you don't see us and you're not going to Gen Con, believe me, I'm going to get some footage and I'm going to take a little piece of Gen Con and put it on this channel afterwards, after I recuperate from my Gen Con experience. So, yeah. All right. Well, without further ado, we'll talk to you guys later. Toodles!